Hi, YouTube. We're back hey, with another your game. Favorite card. My favorite card? Steward. You jerk! Whatever. Yeah. Figure out what my favorite card is. Uh, I don't think it's an adventure. Sorry. Well, joke's on you. I vetoed random. Let's take a look at the board, shall we? No attacks. Mm -hmm. Where's the trashing salvager? And there's significant oh trading post for trashing. Uh, significant draw in stables. Uh, maybe watchtower, village, and plus buy in workers' village. So the components exist for an engine. What's the payload of that engine going to be? What are the cool things I can do? Uh, draw a lot of cards. Uh, gonna need some treasure to make it work. So stables is going to be the staple of my deck. So um, probably race to the stables is what this game is going to be. Uh, scheme might be helpful, but in racing to stables, I think silver horse traders will be wise. And uh, maybe pick up a couple of villages. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. Hi. Welcome back. Nice opening. Thank you. I haven't decided what I'm going to get with my five yet, though. Mm. So I went to visit some friends. Um, that's why I was gone, you know. They have a seven-and-a-half-month-old baby. And my contribution to this baby's life was I taught the baby how to go... Good job. So I was doing this, and the baby laughed, and she thought it was funny, and so she thought she would do it. And uh, I, I just thought to myself that imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. I'm behind on stables. Hopefully it's not irreversible. Hopefully these guys won't be able to buy one for a couple of turns. But, uh, oh, I am in second position? All right. Double hunting party. Good for you. Your mother must be proud. Ooh, my yeah. turn already. Check me out. I can't. You're in the other room. Oh, That's baby! As much as it pains me. Uh, so now what? How about one of those? And the stables are gone. No more horses. Oh, there are plenty of horses left on the board. All right, just put together my Rubik's Cube, and it is stiff. Ah! Gonna have to loosen it up. I think Fairgrounds is gonna be a very good source of victory points. Um, I will want to get a Salvager to get rid of all but one estate and start maybe a trading post also 
Actually, Trading Post is just going to be better than Salvager. But, uh... Hopefully I'll get a $9 turn here. You can hear the superior beatboxing skills of my opponent here. Because it's amazing. Look at my horse. My horse is amazing. Give it a lick. It tastes just like raisins. Just realize I need to embargo provinces ASAP. Probably should have done that way earlier. Crap. That may be the difference. Got plans, man. Bet you do. Bet you do. Oh, crap! That's farmland, not fairgrounds! Oh, F me! Ugh. Well, I've got a problem now. So, my strategy will need some adjustment, but I might be able to recover because farmland can still get around an embargo on provinces. Is my deck better equipped to handle that, however? And the answer is probably no. Um, I'm behind those, so embargoing provinces, provinces is probably the right move, and hopefully they won't be wise to it. Um, and I guess I've invested a little more in trashing, so the curses won't affect me as much. Ugh! It's about like when I uh, confuse mint and mine. Remember that game? Oh, how could I forget? Always something there to remind me. Oh, what are we gonna do? I can't play the embargo. Um, An embargo, bruh. Bruh. Let's do... This. Oh, sure. And then, uh... This. Cause that was awesome. Wow, great turn. I I, I could have top decked the workers' village if I hadn't played the horse traders. Wow, so many things I did wrong on that turn. Embargo this turn. Wow. Good. That happened. I just realized trading post and horse traders is a little bit of a nombo, but oh well. Um, Your face is a little bit of a nombo. Yeah, I know. <laughs> well, Ken wants to go down in internet history as <laughs> knowing one of the 
more prestigious words in the language. Yeah! Don't you like those purple cards? Oh, God. Yes? Oh, God. Oh! Keep the turn alive, man. Keep it alive. Well, you got there. I had to discard quite a few good cards in order to do it. Yeah, you only got, what, like $14 on that turn? It was terrible. Yeah, I know. It was terrible. I know. Terrible I feel bad. so bad for you. Indeed. Okay, now let's not do anything stupid here. First, that. Uh, could you maybe stop doing that? Why? Ooh, actually, I just realized I don't want that card. Okay. Yo, dog, heard you like curses. Ooh. Maybe I could have done something better with the trading post by leaving the estate in hand to trash. Maybe. Would have cost me dollars, though, and uh, I didn't really need the scheme. Yeah. Yeah. I totally could have done. Oh, okay. Uh, Ken's helping me. Ken, please. I don't think he realizes that helps me. I think he just did it because you did it. Oh, uh, yeah, that's a thing. That's been known to happen. Imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. Yes. It is audibling into what you're doing. <laughs> that doesn't seem it's, like a great plan. It has won him games before. <laughs> I didn't even think about having a watchtower in hand. Maybe I shouldn't have trashed mine, huh? Maybe I shouldn't have opened my mouth, huh? Totally. <laughs> I don't care. I don't watch what I'm saying. Let's see how many uh, embargo tokens we can get on the provinces. Holy Moesha! Well, you're not getting a province unless you have a watchtower in hand. Or you do that. That was... Sort of what I planned on, but, you know. We just need Ken to play his last embargo on the provinces.
Horse trade goes to salvage. So I have three, six, seven, that would give me twelve. Ooh, wait, 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 wait. That. Seven plus random? Ooh, this is tough. This is tough. So if I do that, actually. Thinking makes my brain hurt. Yeah, thinking is hard. Math is hard. Uh, hmm. Not what I wanted. Well, can't buy a farmland this turn. Because I got a province in my hand. Hmm. Yeah, well, it's just going to be totes obvo what I'm doing, but, you know. It's all because of you, man. Me? Can you feel the love? Oh. Those were, like, all my workers' villages, right? So I'm definitely going to need to do this. Now, if you skip that embargo, Ken, we can never get that fifth embargo token onto the provinces. Ooh, I think I just need to loosen some screws in this Rubik's Cube. I think that's my problem. Well, you got screw loose, all right. Oh, yeah. Ooh, I can totally take off the covers without, like taking apart the cube. Take it off. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. That didn't work. Oh, boy. So hey, uh, <clears throat> during this lull in the action here, I'd like for oh never mind, it's my turn. We'll talk about this in a minute. Okay. Come on, give me a copper. Oh well, whatevs. Hey, we can get there. What am? So Ortega and I did a 120 star race a couple days ago. Oh yeah. Over five hours. Nice. And it was decided by like three minutes. It was so close. Oh, that's pretty awesome though. Yeah. At least you got a close finish at the end of uh, five hours. Yeah. So um, Ken is uh, he's getting on the bus, but it's a little bit late here. Soon the farmlands are going to be gone. Yeah, top deck that business, brah. So that two actions. Oh, I've gone to my back. <laughs> Come on, draw me some stuff. Ooh, and I drew some stuff, that's for sure. Oh, all right, options, brain hurting. Um, what do I have right now? Three, six, nine. Nine dollars, I can just buy a province, or I can farmland gold into province, which seems stronger. Um... Yeah. 
No. And now I do nothing. Stables, please. Well, uh, so YouTube land, I was thinking about doing the cinnamon challenge. What's that? It's where you, uh, you have to eat and swallow a tablespoon of ground cinnamon in 60 seconds without water. That sounds really dumb. Oh, embargo those dookies! Do it! Well, there goes the last farmland. So it's all along the watchtower now. I mean, all about the watchtower now. <laughs> that was good. Yeah, that was a good one. I liked it. Although I'm a little disappointed in Ken. He didn't put the fifth embargo token on the provinces. What do we got here? Six dollars, huh? Well, the gold isn't good anymore. Uh, double watchtower? Yeah. I'm thinking about doing it, taking a video of it. Sounds like a pretty good plan, right? When's the, um, the dum dum off? Thing supposed to be. Ooh, yeah. And a dum dum off. It can be whenever, I'm thinking. Oh. 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 You what? I did it. I bought a dookie. Good work. Since it came with a curse, you could call it a kooky. Let's just discard two stables to my horse traders and then cry. Yeah, that's what I did. More watchtowers. All along the watchtowers, <laughs> princess kept the view, while all the women came and went, barefoot servants too. <gasps> oh, oh, oh! Wait, 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 wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh, snap! Got there! <laughs> uh, no. Uh, yeah. <laughs> because you can. Because I can. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, playing Watchtower to draw seems halfway decent. Um, I guess I'd rather draw... Uh, I can die. <laughs> whatever. Uh, okay. Hey, when did another embargo end up on the Dookies? Ken did it. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, gold is a pretty good card. I'll buy one. I would say gold was uh, out of, it's not useful anymore. I think it's going to be much better than Venture. Well, about the same as Venture, really, but better. Won't skip my juicy, saucy action cards. And my juicy, saucy victory cards. Totes. <laughs> Double estate. You buy those estates, man. You buy those estates like a boss. Wow, I wish I had Menagerie. Um, okay. I wish I did, too. If there was some other source of draw on this board, this would be great. It got me... Horse Traders and Workers Village? Woo! That would be fireworks, Dick man. Um, <laughs> hey, at least you got Dick and Squad. You know what? 
screw it. Do it! Uh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Brings back memories of thud, 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 curse, 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 curse. And, because I can, you know what they say about imitation. It's a serious form of flattery. It is. Well, I think it's advantageous to drain the curses that way if you think you're the one that's going to be more likely to get to eight. I'm definitely not, and, uh, but, I mean, when the curses are gone, the game's over anyway. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But if it's like underneath four, like say you get it down to one, Ooh. Then you can buy a province and it wouldn't be too bad. There you go. It's like remodeling province into province in a three player game. You're rolling the dice, man. But if it pays off, apparently that's uh that'll get your girlfriend mad at you, so beware about that. Learn uh, that learn that one the hard way. Uh -oh. I should have played Watchtower before Stables. Ah, so did you do stable. to make, your, make Megan mad? Hmm? What did you do to make Megan mad? I uh, I remodeled game. province into province in like a four-player game. Ooh. And uh, it, it won me the game. It totally won me the game, but oh. yeah. She, she seems more about the social aspect of gaming and not so much about the do-whatever-you-can-to-win aspect of gaming. Yeah, it turns out we like exactly the opposite things in board games. I like games with lots of interesting and difficult decisions, and she likes the opposite of that. Oh, she likes the opposite. Uh, no, no, no. She's not. Uh. She has some taste. She loves Dixit, by the way. Oh, well, that's good. Dixit's fine. Scored a ton of boy points getting her that game. Oh. Well, you're welcome. I'm glad I could uh, assist you in that. Ooh, double estate. He's really getting serious. There's two estates left. Yeah, better get him. Get him while they're still hot. Yeah, I'm into this game. Way to milk that first turn advantage. Uh, sure. <laughs> like you needed it. <laughs> yeah, that was a terrible video. I apologize, YouTube. Goodbye. Oh, uh, yes.